Should Dragon Ball Super rewrite the ending of the manga? The answer is no. The manga is the original canon. It is what was written by Toriyama. The original 42 volumes of the manga are the original story. And if you can so easily rewrite that, that is pretty much your way of saying that you have no concern for consistency. You had no concern for things making sense. And you were really just going to retcon anything to make anything else make sense. And we can't do that. We already have enough problems with characters not aging. Bulma isn't pregnant with Bra, and Bra isn't born. I could name a thousand things that are wrong with that that Bulma isn't pregnant right now. She should have already given birth. They could at least be pregnant, but she isn't. She's clearly not pregnant. The point is, is that the consistency in this series is not there. So if they retcon the ending, they're pretty much saying they do not care about consistency at all. Now, you could argue that the ending no longer makes any sense, which in that is incorrect. There has been no real event besides for the battle with Beerus and the battle with Frieza, which weren't very bad. Like, nothing terrible happened during those battles that really disturbed the peace of planet Earth. Toriyama's statement, original statement at least, was that it was 10 years of peace. Now, Frieza was a kind of a threat, he was dangerous, but let's all be honest, Beerus was, as long as Beerus was there, they were still in peacetime, because the second Beerus wanted Frieza dead, Frieza was dead. Frieza could have not beat Beerus, Beerus would have destroyed Frieza. This was literally stated when Frieza was terrified of him. The point though is that Goku and Vegeta were also beating him, and they were just having fun with it. So, and then the fight with Beerus, and the Beerus wasn't really a villain, he wasn't really out to destroy the planet. He, as long as he got to fight the Super Saiyan God, he was going to be happy. So I don't really think the 10 years of peace have been disrupted. So as long as the events of the future arcs take place off-world, with the previous arc, the Universe 6 arc, did. It took place off of planet Earth, inside, the, inside that dimension where the tournament was held. However, there is the problem of a future trust arc. However, I have a quick solution to that. The solution is simply that Goku and the other characters that will be taking place in the arc. So, obviously Goku and Vegeta, because this is this is this theory is only about Goku and Vegeta. They're the only characters, only Hit and God and Goku and Vegeta are allowed to be powerful in this theory for some reason. But, and relevant too. The point though is that the... So Goku, Vegeta, maybe it's a, maybe hit for a new birth death, just, just an idea. But a couple of other characters could go with Future Tron back to his timeline to deal with the threat of Black Goku or Goku Black. Now, that is possible because if the events of that arc take place in Future Tron's timeline, the statement about the 10 years of peak would remain intact. However, and then the multiversal tournament would take would be a tournament that would take place off of Earth. So that would also not affect the 10 years of P. So as long as those events don't take place on Earth, you could sort of keep the ending intact and while it still making sense. Especially due to the fact that Goku and Vegeta never once go beyond their base forms after the fight with Kid Buu. You have to realize that in the manga, Goku is only shown sparring with Goten and his fight with Oob. And in neither fight that he used his Super Saiyan form in either the second ending or the first ending. And for those of you that are aware, there is a second ending to the manga with a couple of extra pages by Toriyama. But they're, they're nothing major. I think uh, Goku gives Oob a Nimbus. But that's really it. Nothing big. But uh, maybe I'll do a video on that. <laughs> no, but... So, since the event of the ending wouldn't be affected by their new god power, or god form, the only thing in the ending that would really have a problem at all would probably be the fact that Goku and Vegeta are affecting Oob in terms of power. Like, saying he could protect the planet or something. He can't. He really can't. He has nothing compared to them. Goku could one-shot Kid Buu at this point. So, I mean, because Kid Buu is weaker than Super Buu. I swear to God, he is. But... Whatever, but I think Goku could beat Kid Buu and Oob so easily, Oob isn't anything special anymore, and that really is the only thing about the ending that wouldn't make sense, and because it's the, and the ending is from the original 42 volumes of the manga, 
I feel personally it should remain intact. And if it is done correctly, you could keep it intact. Now, do I want Super to continue after the ending? Of course I do. They have to continue after the ending, so we can have a couple, at least one arc, with a real sense of danger, where the whole time we're, we're not just thinking, how are they going to fix this so all the characters can come back for the ending? Because until they rewrite the ending, we just assume everything will be the same. So yeah, I'm hoping they keep the ending the same, and then they go past it eventually. Who knows, maybe the multiversal tournament will take place after that arc, who knows. I don't know. I really don't know, but guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me your thoughts on whether or not they should rewrite the ending in the comment section down below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day.